the errand. Later called Sentinels, these supposedly mindless mechanical life forms appear in the No Man's Sky universe, and enforce the protection of the planets and life forms that exist within it. The Aeron forces consist of different variations, from small, drone-like entities to giant walkers to starship carriers. While they reached into the universe effortlessly with astonishing speed, they were quickly spotted by the Viking Alliance who considered their actions to be against the natural order of things. And the Aarons were soon engaged in a long war with the Alliance, in which Herc would find his death. The war resulted in massive casualties for both the Aarons and the Viking Alliance. The Vikings had the last laugh when the Aarons began their retreat. But what they didn't expect was that the Gek would take advantage of the absence of Aarons to launch their attack. While the Viking believed they needn't worry about the threats of the Gek advancing outward, Korvax Prime was chosen as the next target by the Gek. Combined the entire planet for its resources and power, and took the remaining Korvax into slavery to extract the resources, until the planet was completely destroyed. This event is known as the Great Disconnection. With the Viking in no condition to fight, no one could stop the advance of the Gek. During their time in slavery, countless Korvax sacrificed themselves to pour their nanite blood into the spawning pools of the Geks. Through this process, they rewrote the very DNA of the first spawn and redirected their greed and need to dominate and conquer through war toward a need for commerce and trade. This alteration of the Gek is not known by the non-Korvax races, who think this shift has been a natural change. Slowly, new Gek started to be born with a mercantile mindset, and the Gek first spawn dominion fell down from within. The Aarons, after the destruction of Korvax Prime, came back as the Sentinels, stronger and more aggressive than ever, and eliminated the remnants of the first spawn. They now spread their true domination over the universe, existing in every part of it. The new Gek shared the Korvax worship of the Atlas and Sentinels, and entered into an alliance with them under their new belief system. The universe is now in an era of peace. The Korvax's new convergence, after the destruction of Korvax Prime, their first convergence, still roam the universe in search of knowledge. The Gek, now a peaceful race, constantly seek economical domination through trading and diplomacy. The Viking, still at war with the Sentinels, are now incapable of actually stopping them in a meaningful way. They are at peace with the new mercantile Gek, but stay alert, as they did not forget the war crimes of the first spawn. It is in this era of peace between the three races that the events of the game take place.